respiratory system. Here we have, it's very important question here that we have in our life. Okay, another question. Question number 11. How many atoms does a single nanoparticle typically contain? Okay, here we have few thousand, less than 10, few hundred, between 10 and 100. Okay, what do you think? Tens of thousand. Here we have a single nanoparticle atoms. Single nanoparticles means here we have few hundred. It means that from one to hundred, the same meaning. We said that any substance in the nanoscale must contain or must its atom less than 100. So we mean that we have here a few hundred. Question number 12 here. What is the surface area to volume ratio of the nanoparticle in the diagram? We have here length, 50, times width, 15, uh, sorry, uh, 25, and time height, 15 nanometer. Here we will take the volume here, and its surface area means that length times width only 50 times 15. So we will make dividing for surface area or uh, sorry um, volume and surface area over volume here we have the ratio will be 0 0.25 nanometer it means that this substance on the nanoscale okay it may be less than one okay question number 13 here a titanium oxide nanoparticle has a diameter of 10 nanometer the diameter of titanium atom is 0.3 nanometer estimate how many times larger the nanoparticle is compared to titanium atom to the nearest whole number okay we were comparing between 10 is the diameter of what of titanium oxide and titanium atom only 0.3 it means that it's bigger than it by what? By 33 times. Okay? It means that this titanium oxide greater than titanium atom by 33 times. Okay? Question number 14. What property of some nanoparticles means that they could be used to form microscopic electrical circuits for computer chips? Here we have question and we will discuss each point here they are easily absorbed by the body i think we not discussing this point they have antibacterial properties maybe they continuously release cell rhymes they conduct electricity and they block ultraviolet rays or your v rays here we have they conduct electricity okay this means that we not need any substance here different in the microscopic from the nanoparticles they conduct electricity here the property of some nanoparticles means in the microscopic electric circuit we don't we didn't or we would didn't want any substance to be on the nano size question number 15 Buckyball or carbon 60 is an example of what dimensional nano we have three dimensional one and two and three dimensional substance which is used in what okay we said that buckyball is a solid body or like a ball and evacuated in from inside to put the something that we want to add inside it or like a ball and there is no anything inside it we want to add any substance like a medicine like what like medicine and it will be infected inside the body and transferred to treat any defect inside it so we have here the buckyball example of three-dimensional nano substance which is used in treat or as a carrier for 
medicine which targets the infected cells in the body. It's directed to only cell infected or has a defect. How? By knowing the protein structure of the cell, they have or they recognize for the protein that have different in shape from the normal protein, okay? Question number 16 here. Which of the following is one of the allotropic forms of carbon and three-dimensional nanosubstance? Okay, here we discussing the point very important. We have different forms of carbons. Allotropic forms of carbons means that we have different shapes or different property adding to the carbon and three dimensional okay we have here we have if we don't know the allotropic form of carbon we don't know the meaning of it or we didn't know different forms or different shapes of carbon but we have here the answer Depending on three-dimensional substance, here we have buckyball or carbon-16. Question number 17, okay? Which of the following statement about nanoparticles is correct? Here we have question, very important, or nanoparticles are characterized by their small surface area. Okay, we said before that we have we didn't want to discuss any surface area. The second one, nanoparticles are characterized by their higher acidity. Okay, we didn't discuss acidity before. The third one, nanoparticles are characterized by their odor. I think it's not it's not right at all. No, nanoparticles are characterized by their large surface area. Okay, the last one will be the right answer here depending on the surface area must be very large or large surface area that the main characteristics for nanoparticles okay question number 18 what will happen to the total volume and the total surface area of a cube being split into eight equally sized pieces as shown in the diagram here we have number one total volume of here we have total volume doubles and the total surface area is the same okay second one total volume is the same and the total surface area is eight times larger what about it okay we will not continue but we must know the total volume doubles and the total surface area doubles. The total volume is eight times larger and the total surface area is eight times larger. Here we have the right answer is the last one. Total volume is the same and total area doubles. Here we have total area doubles as it will be time two means that if we have surface area 10 it double time 2 will be 20 okay Question number 19 what is the diameter in meters of the nanoparticle in the diagram okay we want to know the diameter here we have what here we have the substance here 20 nanometer we want the diameter of this nanoparticles we will be it will be here we have on the nano scale or nanometer we want to know it on changing to the meter so we will dividing time divided 10 power negative 9 so the answer will be 2 times 10 power negative 8 meter as we have here 0 in 20 nanometer question number 20 a type of nanoparticles known as nanocube is shown in the diagram using the dimensions provided 
what is the volume of nanoparticle here okay we have here 30 lens and 30 width and 30 height we want to know the volume here will be what 27,000 30 times 30 times 30 will be giving 20,000 27,000 nanometer cube or cubic nanometer question number 21 how do nanoparticulate coating on self-cleaning windows work okay we said before that each substance here will have a new property or unique property for it so if we have a glass coating with nano substance it will be no dirty and self-cleaning okay and no anything will adhere on the glass and it may be the nanoparticulate coating catalyzed the breakdown of dirt in the presence of sunlight here we have or means that any substance or any dirt or any dirty material in the presence of sunlight will be not affected due to the presence of nanoparticle or nanoparticulate coating catalyzed question number 22 which of the following statements could be used to describe nanoparticles here we have particles with high surface area to volume ratio particles from 1 to 100 nanometer in size particles are smaller than most atoms particles with different properties than those of same material in bulk I think all we have here particles containing a few hundred atoms or ions okay we have here number C particles that are smaller than most atoms it's not describe any nano substance so we have here four properties that describing any nano substance particles have surface area comparing to volume particles its size from 1 to 100 nanometer its particles have different properties different from its normal state and comparing the particles of any atoms will be hundred or ions maybe all the particles containing different or very high number of atoms or ions question number 23 question number 23 here we have what harmful impact may silver nanoparticles have on the environment okay the first one we have here four choices silver nanoparticles can prevent sunlight from reaching earth silver nanoparticles may kill useful bacteria silver nanoparticles may kill harmful bacteria and silver nanoparticles can contribute to global warming okay I think the answer will be here we have nanoparticles may kill useful bacteria so it's disadvantage for what for silver nanoparticles we are discussing harmful impact or harmful effect of nanoparticles silver substance okay we didn't want to kill the useful bacteria but here we have silver nanoparticles its side effect here it kill all the useful bacteria and we want it in environment okay question number 24 scientists use what as a carrier of medicine in the human body I think we discussing it a lot times we have here buckyball or carbon 60 the last question of our lesson here we have question number 25 an atom of helium has a diameter of 0 0.0662 nanometer how many helium atoms would fit across the side of nanoparticle of width 35 nanometer 
give your answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, here we have diameter and width. Okay, and comparing to it, we have the diameter, or we want to compare the helium atom will enter its size will be 565 okay for the atom of helium if we comparing the diameter with and its width okay i hope you enjoy our lesson today waiting for new lessons please wait for us for more questions of knowledge Egyptian bank okay